Hello guys, before we start this following piano tutorial, I'm going to quickly tell you how you can get the best out of this lesson and how everything is structured. Okay, firstly, even though I verbally tell you all the notes and chords in detail, you should still have a pen and paper to write down the melody notes and matching chords as we go through the lesson so you can actually easily remember it to practice afterwards. Okay, so personally, I like to write the melody in blue on the top with the matching chords below in red, like this. Anyway, the lesson is broken up into sections so you know which part of the song you are learning. The sections are further broken down into parts so it is easier to remember and practice right on the spot. The parts are further broken down into separate hands, then hands together to ensure that you get each and every note of the melody and chords correct. Anyway, with that all said, let's jump straight into the lesson, and happy learning! Hello guys, this is Amos Dolan Music, and in today's lesson, I want to teach you how to play Steven Universe song called I Could Never Be Ready, okay? So let's go ahead and teach you how to play this song, okay? So, um, let me see, I'll give you a preview of what we're going to learn today, it goes like this. So I'm going to teach you how to play this, okay? So that's the first half of the song. Anyway, so let's go ahead, start off on the C sharp, middle C is here, we go up an octave C, we start on the C sharp, okay? It goes C sharp, and then two Bs, and then goes A, B, and then it goes the same five note motive again, which is C sharp, and then two Bs, and A, B, like that. That's the first part, okay? So. Split it into many parts so we can remember and also learn as we go. But anyway, that's the first part. The right hand once more again. So there's ten notes. It's like a five note motive times twice. Okay, so it's C sharp, B, B, A, B. And again, C sharp, B, B, A, B. Okay, so those are the ten notes for the right hand for the first part. The left hand, we have A major, which is A, C sharp, E. Followed by D major, which is D, F sharp, A. Okay, so with that in mind, A major and D major, let's put the two hands together. It goes like this, okay? A major first, and the right hand comes in here. And after the B, D major by itself. Like that, that's the first part, okay? Let's go ahead and do it again. So it goes A major, right comes in here. Like that, okay? Let's move on to the second part now, okay? The second part, right hand, once again, is the five note motive. It goes C sharp, B, B, A, B, and then changes, go B down to F sharp, and then to A, and down to E, like that. That's the second part for the right hand, okay? Let's do it again, so the right hand goes like this for the second part. It goes C sharp, B, B, A, B, B, F sharp, A, E. Just like that, okay? One more time, so it goes like this. C sharp, B, B, A, B, B, F sharp, A, E, like that for the right hand, okay? Okay, so that's right hand. The left hand, uh, for this second part, we have two chords. The two chords are D minor, D, F, A, and the second chord followed by A major, which is A, C sharp, E, okay? With those two chords in mind, D minor and A major, let's put the two hands together for this second part, okay? So it goes like this. D minor first, right hand comes in, and then second B and A major together, like that. Okay, one more time, so it goes like this, here, together, like that. Okay, and that's it for the second part. Okay, so, okay, give you one tip. Remember the four chords for what we just did for the first part and second part for A major, D major, D minor, A major because these four chords is actually the cycle of the song and once you get these four chords you can pretty much play most of the song okay you can pretty much sing to it okay uh, let me see how does it go um it's like pretty low right it's like I could never be I could never be I could never be ready Something like that, I think. Okay, but we can sing an octave high. I could never be, I could never 
be I could never be ready for you Okay, it's a bit more comfortable if you sing an octave higher, okay? But anyway, once you get these four chords, you can pretty much sing this song, right? So remember these four chords because the next third part and the fourth part also uses these four chords that I just taught you for the first part and the second part. But anyway, with that in mind, let's do the third part, okay? So, oh, fantastic, because the third part is actually exactly the same as the first part. So it's like this, here. Here. Like that. Okay, pretty easy, right? Okay, exactly the same as the first part. So this is the third part, one more time. Here. Here. Alright, that's the next part, okay? One more time, so... Here. And then, the fourth part right now, it's really similar, but it's shorter. So right hand goes like this, C sharp, B, B, A, B, and then B, A, like that. Okay, one more time, the right hand, so it goes C sharp, B, B, A, B, B, A, like that. Okay, so that's the right hand. The left hand, same uh, two chords as the second part, so it's D minor and A major, which you know already, okay? So the fourth part chords, exact same chords as the second part, remember that, okay? So putting two hands together for this fourth part goes like this, here. And then the last A and A major together, like that. Okay, one more time, so it goes like this, here. Together, like that. And that's pretty much it, okay? So that's the four parts for the catchy theme, okay? So we'll be doing it all again, it goes like this. So make sure the rhythm is also good as well, the right hand, it's a bit like a swing rhythm, it's like da 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 because if it's not swing, it's like this, which is not right, okay, it's more supposed to be da 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 like that, okay, so keep the swing rhythm or else it won't sound that right, okay, but anyway, yeah, so what you can do in your compliment, like what I do for my cover, you can kind of do like... To make it more bouncy, just like the left hand could be something like that, okay? So more like like low, high, low, low, high, low, like something like that, okay? But yeah, so the accompaniment chords just use that pattern and just go with um, trying to match it with the right hand as well. And yeah, that's the nature of improvisation and that's how it kind of works because based on what I taught you today, melody and chords, and from that, we just make stuff on the spot like what I do in my covers to make it sound more like interesting and suiting the mood that you want the song or the arrangement to be portrayed. But anyway, yeah, that's up to you. But anyway, as for now, enjoy uh, your time around my channel and check out my cover for this song. I did the full song. I played it with my improvisations. I played it twice, in fact. And yeah, through the both times, I made it kind of like soothing and calming because that's how like the original is as well like it's like um, Stephen as a baby and the father's just like oh Stephen and anyway <laughs> anyway so yeah as for now I guess enjoy your time check out my covers and my other Stephen Universe piano covers and tutorials I've done many of them I've done the really nice ones as well like here comes a thought and all the other ones as well. You can search it up in the like my channel like search bar. I just search up Steven Universe and like piano cover Amos Doll and you can pretty much find all those for yourself. Okay, but anyway, yeah, after now, enjoy your time on my channel and I guess see you next time. Hello guys, as a reward for watching my video right to the end, here is what I have for you. If you want to learn how I can play any song in the world, including this one in this video within 10 to 20 minutes just by listening, then click the first link in the description below to preview my Ear Mastery book for free. Click the second link for my beginner's course if you are completely new to the piano and don't know where to start. Click the third link for my library of popular full song video lessons membership. 
more, click the fourth link for my paid piano request and full song tutorial service if you want me to personally play any song for you or make a full song tutorial for you. And finally, if you are a sheet music learner who wants to learn a specific song or arrangement where the sheet music is not available anywhere in the world, then click the fifth link for my sheet music transcription service where I will personally write it out for you. As for now, like this video, subscribe, enjoy your time around my channel and see you next time.